What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Black and Aquatics, Freedom Through Swimming. I'm your host, Tazaria Cacho, also known as Coach T. Today I'm going to start with some housekeeping. So I've been thinking about how I do the podcast and, you know, when to release it and things like that. So going forward, I think I'm going to I'm going to try and release it every other week, so every two weeks, come out with a new episode. And that's pretty much it for housekeeping this week. Next, the community announcements. So at the top of the month, Black and Marine Science announced that they had raised $2 million for their Tidal Wave program. So congrats to them. And if you don't know, their Tidal Wave program is to bring BIMS community members of all levels to conferences to network and present with their peers at no cost to them as per their website. A new podcast about black people swimming was released about a couple weeks ago by Sadie Clayton. It's called Black People Can't Swim. I've listened to the episode so far, and I think it's a really good podcast. And if you're looking for more podcasts about black people swimming, I'd highly recommend checking out her podcast. She is based out of the UK. Last but not least, I saw that Salty Afro Surf in Costa Rica, they will be having their Salty Afro Surf camp in July, from July 10th to the 15th. And that's all for this week's community announcements. I also wanted to mention that this month was National Water Safety Month. But it was also Mental Health Awareness Month, as well as Bike Month. Every month, there's a lot going on. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Next, this weekend is Memorial Day weekend. So as we hit the pools, the beaches, springs, you know, go boating and hit other bodies of water, I just wanted to remind us to practice being water smart. Remember to swim with a buddy and not swim alone. Have a water watcher for the kids. Wear a life jacket when needed. Reach to throw, but don't go. And if you're hitting facilities or basically anywhere, just remember to follow the rules. Have fun, but be safe. Now, this weekend is typically when some facilities open. And I am a proud big sis, so I did want to give a shout out to my little sister, Megan. She is a brand new lifeguard and today is her first day of work and I'm super excited for her. I'm so happy for her and I'm proud of her. Her first time lifeguarding will be a holiday weekend and I think that's pretty cool. So she gets to see a busy time at the pool. So shout out to her. Proud of you, kid. Last but not least, The Little Mermaid was released yesterday. I know some of us got to see it early. I saw it Thursday night, and I really enjoyed it. I won't be doing a review yet because the movie just came out, and I want to give people some time to go and watch it. That's pretty much everything that's been going on. I want to say if you're a black girl or a black woman and you enjoy cosplaying, go just cosplay. Go to the Little Mermaid in your tails and your outfits, and you know. Don't worry about anybody else. Just do you, have fun, and enjoy the movie. It is a really good movie. With that being said, as always, if there are any swim projects or businesses in your local community that serve the black community and you think we should highlight them, reach out to us at podcast at com. Thanks for checking in. Peace.